people, Smithers are here today to give you free episode 7 motherfucking review. I'm not gonna lie, I like this episode to a degree. To a very small degree. But everything else, like, what the fuck? Let's, let's just go through this shit, okay? The, let's just, oh, fuck that shit. Fuck the summary and bullshit like that. And you should have already saw the episode. And I don't really want to go to detail to detail that much right now because I got too many videos to make right now. Maybe next week I'll go do that route again, but not right now because I got too little time for so much shit to do. But let's just do this shit, okay? Oh my god. This dude fucking this dude fucking Rin he has this weird ass fucking dream like like no 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 I mean like weird as shit like like it, it was like we broke into fucking um Haru's house and then there was like this fish floating around and then Haru turns up behind him like magically and shit and I'm like okay fuck it why not and then it's like he just fucking disappears and then it's like let's fucking race and then <clears throat> somehow this motherfucker Rin like looks down and there's like this kid here holding a trophy and he's like dad I'm like what the f what like that was confusing as shit it got clarified later on but like like what the fuck like the like, little kid is like hey dad it's like that's how you know your dad is a little kid you recognize your dad when you see him as a little kid not when you see him as an old ass man like, literally, the nigga was, like, eight years old. I'm like, what the fuck? That, that, that just blew my mind. I'm like, what the fuck? But then, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. We finally get the connection. Just like how... Oh, my God. I'm trying to remember his name, too. Hold on, hold on. Because I remember the four. There's Ray. There's Nag Nag Nagasa. There's Haru, and then, oh fuck, even when I remembered names, fuck it. The one dude who has, like, that thing about swimming the ocean, that motherfucker. Remember how he said that that old man died that he knew on, the, during the typhoon? Well, Rin's dad was also in that typhoon, and he also died. And his dream was to become a swimmer, but then, instead, it got blocked by having a kid. And so now his son wants to do what his dad couldn't do. Like right, take over for him, and in order to do that, he has to beat Haru. So fuck it, I like that. I like that. In the beginning, though, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, the beginning after you after you watch the entire episode, the beginning didn't need to even be there. It's like, hey, there are five days left. <gasps> Why don't we? I got it. I got it. I got it. Why don't we get a coach? And they don't even try and look for a coach. It's like, are you gonna even throw it in there if you're not gonna do it? So I was like, uh, uh. But then, this is when. <clears throat> okay, now then, this is when. Man, motherfucking flies and shit. This is when I'm like, hmm. Basically, Ren's teammate, that one dude who's always with him, that's riding his dick like 24 7, like, what the fuck? Like, anyway, that dude right there. He's basically like, why in the hell are you only entering one event? It's like, you got so much potential. And later on, it got more clarified, and they became like a strong, like their bond, so to speak, like strengthened him and that other dude, Rin and that other dude, because he was like, you have all this potential, and I have none, and you still are just only like going to do one thing that you're, you're okay at, when I have to struggle to do something, and I can't even get to do what I want to do. And then Rin realized, like, we got more in common or some bullshit like that, so they're like, okay, like, yeah. At least that's how I saw it. If if you're just watching it and you don't really get that whole sense, like, when you tie it back to how Rin felt when Haru beat him. And then, that's, then they started bonding. I mean, they had fucking pop and they, he told him about how his dad died, like, damn. And he go visit his grave before the... I don't even want to talk about this bullshit. 
no one. <laughs> Fuck it, I got to, I got to. I can't leave it out just because how, how it is. It's like fucking racing day. Like, like five days, like literally passed by like that. Apparently she, the girl, their fucking manager, she also, you ready for this? She has like fucking book of secrets and shit. Like, yeah, I got, I got their fucking stats down. Like, yeah, like on, like on some crocodile basket shit, but not that level. Like looking at motherfuckers and seeing their skill level. Like, not, not like that. But it was still, like, interesting how, how much work she's putting in. And then, she has, like, all this information on all the other teams there, but, but that's when they're, like, sitting up on, like, the bleachers and shit. Alright, I'm gonna explain to you. Fuck it. The area that they were at was definitely the most suspect area in Japan. Mm-mm. 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 I'm gonna give fuck. That was the most suspect area in Japan. Right there, son. Niggas bending and, like, yeah, look at my shirt, bro. Like, no, bro, no, no, no. That was, like, the most suspect area in Japan. Niggas stretching each other out. Like, like no, son, no. Calm the fuck down. When I heard, okay, it's going to be, like, and then I saw the outside and the state, um, the motherfucking, um, the bleachers and shit. I was like, I'm, oh shit. They're not going to, they're probably not going to do it. But they should have. They should have. They should have. Because when you look in the bleachers while these niggas were racing, all there were were dudes there. Like, what the fuck? Why not? Was there no, like, there was one chick there, and that was an old lady. Like, and there was a couple there, too, but they were, like, like fucking, like, barely developed characters at all. Like, literally, you can't even see their face. They're, like, all, all blurry and shit. But, like, literally, there were no girls. Like, like, like none at all. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why are all these dudes here, bro? Why are all these dudes watching niggas swim? Like, 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 no, bro, no. Why the fuck? Like, no, bro. That, that just got my mind. I was thinking, like, oh my god, I know exactly what they should have did. And keep in mind, this, you know that this is what they should have did. Like the bleachers come out, Rin walks out there and shit, like all back, like you know, like Rin and Haru, like neck and neck, like yeah, doing the lineup and shit. And then all of a sudden, there are all these girls, like, fucking signs and shit. Like, wow! Like, like, yeah, bro, like, yeah, that's what I was expecting. But no, it was a whole bunch of fucking dudes. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, no, bro, no, no, no. What, what the fuck are you niggas doing there? What purpose could you possibly have to go see niggas swim? Like, like, no, bro. It's like, I watch it for the swimming. Like, no, bro, you don't. No, no, bro, no, no. That was like the most suspect building in the world. Like, like no, bro, no. Like, niggas stretching. I can, I can take that because that's like exercising shit. Nigga taking off his shirt in front of another dude. Like, like, not in like, 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 yeah, like, check out these fucking pecs and shit. Like, I'm like, okay, that that's like macho, but that's also kind of questionable. But when the fuck in the fucking stands. They're fucking dudes. Like, literally, that's it. Like, dudes. And, like, three girls. Like, like and two of the girls, they weren't, like, characterized at all. And then there was a, um, their fucking, um, their counselor for it. And, of course, girl who, who oh, my God, fucking muscles in the flesh. Get the, I get it, I get it, I get it, but still, what the, like, literally, why were there only dudes? You can't explain that in a non-suspect way. A whole bunch of niggas decided, hey, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to go watch some teenage boys go swimming. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, like, no, bro, no. Like, no, girl. Like, like you know what would have been the shit? If if you were to see, like, there would have been, a, like, a comedy aspect, too. Because, I mean, come on. It needed some comedy. Because, I mean, the swimming was so, like, no, bro, no. I'm going to give him props for the first swimming scene. Because I was, like, some, it wasn't really epic. But it was well done. This one was, like, pssst, like, like, no, bro. It was, like, literally niggas swimming, like. Like, before, it was, like, some magical fucking underwater, like, 
paradise shit, and I could be like, okay, fuck it, that's something new and interesting. But this, it was just like, niggas literally fucking swimming, like, yeah, bro, yeah, son, yeah, like, like, what? That was just a no moment for me. Like, no, I mean, like, what the fuck? It was just so suspect in that fucking arena. Like, like I can't let that shit go. I mean, I'm going to tell you personally what they should have done, in my opinion. In my opinion. Just because it would have added a lot of comedy value to it. It would have made the swimming aspect seem a lot more popular and a lot less suspect. If... There were a shitload of women. Like, those beaches were filled with women holding up motherfucking signs. And, like, screaming their ass off. And, like, like it would've, they could've had some, like, comedy aspect. Like, some bitch, and she starts foaming at the mouth and she falls down. Like, that would've been some funny shit. Like, like I was like, ah, oh, shit, hell no. They did the bitch with the foamy mouth. Oh, my God. But, no, it was just, it was just niggas like, go, win, go. Like, like what the fuck is this? Like, you cannot logically explain what the fuck a nigga is doing at a fucking swimming event. I came here because it was a sunny day and I wanted to watch the clouds. That's... That's... Like, no, bro, no. Why the fuck when the only dudes, like... Like, like, like... like it was like 99% dudes and 1% female. And half of that female percentage, we didn't even... We don't even know what the fuck they are. They weren't their characters weren't even fucking drawn like properly. And one of them already had a boyfriend. And I'm like, bro, really? Like really? You're gonna bring your girl to him? Like it was like it, you you wouldn't notice it, but it was like one of those side like there were like figures standing in the bleachers too, and you then there were the main characters and they're all high definition, and then there are these low definition characters, and there was a couple in that. I noticed that shit. I'm like, bro, no, bro, why the fuck, like, bro, bringing a girlfriend to this shit ain't gonna make it any less suspect, trust me, trust me, like, like no, bro, no, but I will say this, at the end, when Haru was just sitting there, and I'm still saying that this nigga wasn't giving it his all, like, come on, bro, cause, like, you're supposed to be like some, like some, like, crazy-ass fucking swimmer, and that was, like, some gay, like, that was, like, some, like, boo, like, like, uh, swimming, like, like, yeah, they're fast or whatever, but, like, I mean, like, it was, like, niggas swimming, like, and didn't nigga lost by, like, like, that much, and then fucking Rin's, like, I'm never going to rest you again, or some shit like that. I never want to see you again. It's like, you are no longer in my league. You're a piece of shit. Like, basically like that. And then you just see, and I'm going to say, I like this scene. When you, everything before it, and I'll fuck that shit. When you see his eyes, and they start to, like, format, and you see that figure of, of Rin, and then it just starts to shape and deform and, like, like lose reality in a sense. And his eyes just become, like, uh, like, I was like, damn. That was some serious shit. Like, like. But, nonetheless, the nigga was sorry, son. You're sorry. And, like, literally, bro, like, it was swimming. What do you expect? I'm trying to tell myself that now, but I mean, come on, bro. Come on. I've seen fucking animes with tennis, and they make that look epic as shit. You can do the same shit with swimming. Trust me, you can. But they're like, nah, fuck that shit. We're gonna show some niggas swimming, so fuck it. There was a scene where it was just like this nigga like breathing constantly. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Like, literally, what the fuck? It was just like in no moment. Like, I mean, this dude was just like puffing and puffing. Like, and there's like a blue background. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Like, okay, I get it. He's like, Breathing up for air, nigga. It's like not moving his head and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? It was just a weird ass moment. But when he lost his sanity, hell yeah. When we find out his dad's backstory and how he died in that fucking typhoon and shit, hell yeah. But overall, original flashback, 
No. No. It was like, what the fuck's going on? Like, niggas walking through crowd and shit and fucking, like, faces and fucking, like, juicy chefs and shit. I'm like, it was weird. It was, it was just mad weird. And I will stick with my argument. That was the most suspect building in Japan. Right there. That fucking area. Most suspect shit ever. Like, literally, only niggas show up to this shit? That just proves it's like, damn. I mean, like, this is really unpopular. I mean, if there were a whole bunch of women there from, like, different schools and shit just cheering on motherfuckers, I'd be like, damn. But no, it's a whole bunch of dudes. Like, like, like yeah, son. Yeah, look at them tight-ass motherfuckers. Mm. Mm, yeah. Gotta give me some of that little teenage boy. Like, no, bro, no, son, no. It was just, no. It was just, like, after that half moment, it was like, when we when went to visit his dad's grave, that was a good moment. But ever since that moment, oh my god, oh my god, now I gotta bring this shit up. What the fuck? Dubstep? No. Like, like, literally... They were playing, like, dubstep while these niggas were, like, walking out and shit. And it was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, no. No. Play some hype-ass fucking rock or some shit. Because this is swimming. This ain't no, like, fucking high-action shit. It's literally niggas walking. It takes, like, no energy at all to do that shit. And they're playing some, like, high-ass, like, fucking dubstep. Like, fucking, like, two fucking... Um, what, what would be the best word? Two printers having sex. That That's... Dubstep in, in its own. Two printers having sex with each other. With maybe a fax machine, in there just for the hell of it. Like, I mean, I'm like, what the fuck? That's what I gotta deal with. No dubstep, hundred percent. Hell no. Hell no. They should have played. The intro, or some fucking like, fly like an eagle, some, some shit like that, like, like you know, some like, oh my god, what's that song, like, that fucking song by that band that died in a plane crash, Sweet Home Alabama, or some shit like that, or, oh my god, you, you guys know what I'm talking about, it's like, oh, and this world you cannot change. That, that shit, that shit right there, hell yeah. They should play some shit like that. Like, fly, flee like a bird now or some shit. I don't know, fuck it. They should play some shit like that. Dubstep, no. It was like, no, son, no. Slow your roll, niggas. Like, literally, all you niggas are doing is locking eyes and walking. In a straight fucking line. And dubstep's still playing. Then there's, like, the panning around to their back and shit. And the dubstep's still playing. And then the dubstep's still playing when these niggas, like, you see all these niggas' muscles, and I'm like, fuck it, dubstep. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if the dubstep was playing when they are swimming or not, but either way, I tried to block that shit out of my mind because it was, it was dumb. It was, like, fucking swimming, like, like, I mean, it's anime, bro. You can make that shit as crazy as you wanted to. You can make it, these niggas jump into the water and it jump into some fucking, like, alternate reality where these niggas are fighting with, like, axes and shit. But niggas were just, like, playing up swimming. I know that's like a fucking like long like that's like crazy ass shit, but I mean Prince of Tennis niggas they like, hitting balls like mad fast and shit and oh my god these motherfucking flies they don't stop son they don't stop. But you get what I'm saying? Dubstep was a hell no, and I'm just waiting for next week's episode. That being said, I'll give this episode. A six. Six point five. Six point five. It was good, but it had bad and okay moments sprinkled all throughout the motherfucker. Six point five out of ten. Smithers are giving you free episode seven. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Most suspect building in the world. Comment down below what you thought about this shit. Please, please let me know what you guys thought. If you're still watching the video to like twenty minutes, like damn son, damn fuck it, why not? And most importantly, yeah, comment. Just comment down below what you think. Leave a like if you like the video. Leave a dislike if you disagree with me. 
Go ahead and subscribe for more motherfucking content. And overall, I'll see you later, my motherfuckers. <laughs>